Hey, SRF here, and this is Chapter 8 from Max Payne 3, and this is called Ain't No Reprievement Gonna Be Found Otherwise. So, start off, one chapter seems to roll right into the next one, which is uh, a little confusing for making videos, but it uh, definitely keeps the action rolling when you're actually playing the game, which is a, which is a good way to do it, in my opinion. You don't want people getting bored playing their game. So we start off and uh, we're saying goodbye basically to our wife and daughter and we get jumped by these hoods. But uh, the good thing is there's a lot of cover here. Not that I use it much because I'm stupid. But uh, definitely use more cover than I did, and feel free to use bullet time at all, because for some reason I keep forgetting. I knew I shouldn't have gone there, and the Passos might have to pay the price for my sentimentality. Sorry, just had to say goodbye. And there seems to be a lot of little. Uh, Jeez, I don't even know what to call them. Little submissions within this, or one mission and a little little uh, cutscene like this, and then another section to go through. But again, keeps it moving, pushes the story, which is nice. Cause Max Payne always has a pretty decent story. Oh, the first time I did this, that was a pain in the butt. I, uh, for, for whatever reason, <clears throat> excuse me, I kept missing that dude up there with the grenade launcher. Ooh, an achievement. Hmm, didn't even know that was one of them. Anyways, yeah, so definitely go for the uh, grenade launcher dude first. Um, because he will kill you quickly. And it's kind of hard to aim through those pillars. Oh yeah, ignore that. We just ran over there for absolutely no reason. And of course there will be a golden gun guy for this mission, which I've already recorded. And I will be comment commentating uh, that right after this. And just so you know, I have already finished commentating this video and went through the entire fucking video talking to myself because it didn't fucking record from this point so I'm a little pissed off right now because it was awesome and you guys would have been thoroughly entertained but no it didn't record you see that fucking grenade right there that went off to the side I had a joke about that but you're not gonna hear it now because this fucking program screwed me. And now I'm in a bad mood and you guys gotta listen to me complain. Son of a bitch. Okay. I'm done whining. Oh, damn it, that was a good friggin' video. That's ruined. Fuck you, iMovie. Noob. Alright. Okay, gather yourself here. Three, two, one. Okay, so I had a terrible time with this section right here. Uh, I could not hit anybody. I don't know why, but uh, I like that dude tripped over the other one. All right, so here I kind of, uh, there is a clue here we're supposed to inspect so I'm running around looking for it and if you tune into the gun guide golden gun guide that is you will uh, you 
you'll see me actually find it. But for now, I'm just running around like an idiot. But I will show you where there are some pain pills. <clears throat> right here. I didn't mind saying goodbye. And then we'll move on. Whacked out on meds. Sort of. And this thing better record this time. Because if you have to hear me complain more. <sighs> okay. So here, keep the grenade launcher, unlike I did. And just lob it right into the middle of the group, right at the beginning. Right here. And you will take out all those guys right there. There's like five of them. And you'll take them out in one shot. And then you can pretty much throw it on the ground because it's friggin' useless after that. And then we take out these guys one by one. And that's pretty much the only uh, good thing about the uh, grenade launcher. I didn't even see that guy. Okay, I think there's one more dude right there. Passos had put some distance and now we run around picking up ammo. I meant to follow. Because I don't even remember if I mentioned this earlier in the video or not. But uh, at this sort of, even at this difficulty level, um, I tend to run out of bullets. And I don't even dual wield. Which is kind of weird because in the first two games I only do a well. <laughs> uh, that's gun in each hand, if you don't know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Alright, so I spend way, way too much time here killing these guys. So I'm going to retell you a fucking story. Pardon my French. Oh, that's going to get me negative points. So this is a story about my Triton headphones. So I think I mentioned in another video that I broke them. Uh, I've had them for I guess three or four years and they were awesome. No complaints whatsoever. But the other night I took them off and snap right above the ear piece uh, the arm broke. So I went out to Future Shop and I picked up some Turtle Beaches because the guy was going on and on and on about how great they were. So I said, okay, sure. <laughs> and I just shot that guy in the ass. Uh, so I take him home and and they sucked. They Sorry to say if you're a Turtle Beach fan, but they these particular was. models, they sucked. Um, I couldn't hear out of the left ear unless I cranked it up, which I don't normally do because I'm old and I value my hearing. Wait, should that be the other way around? I'm old, so I should crank them up. Anyways, um, yeah, and they weren't comfortable at all because I have gigantic elephant ears, I'm assuming, and they just didn't fit very well. So I went to Best Buy and I picked up a pair of the exact same, or so I thought, uh, the exact same Triton 180s that I had. Uh, but they're slightly newer um, So there's a couple things that are not quite the same as my old ones, but it's fine Sort of then no, they're not fine actually because If you just put them on and you're not playing anything I hear the radio Some weird radio station. It's not even music. It's just freaking talking but I hear it clean as day and I don't know why and even like when I hold the uh, the little mechanism where you mute and crank up the volume and whatever <laughs> the friggin radio station gets louder <sighs> so anyways when I actually play a game and there's other volume coming in they're fine I don't hear the radio station but when I'm just sitting there and there's no sound coming from the Xbox, I hear this friggin' talk radio station and I'm very annoyed. So I uh, actually went on the Triton site and sent them a little message asking if I have a defective pair or if that's just 
the way they are. Friggin' tune in Tokyo. Anyways, so that is my headphone story. And feel free to recommend another set of headphones because there is a 50-50 chance that I'm going to uh, take these back and go for something else. The only reason I really like these ones is because they are actually really, really, really comfortable. Other than my ears sweating like a friggin' sauna after, but I assume that's pretty typical for most over-the-ear phones, headphones, so. Okay, enough about that. I sure am complaining a lot in this. <clears throat> Alright, oh yes, this portion here. Basically, don't get hit by the sniper. And he has a nice green laser uh, laser sight, so you know if you're going to get shot. Just keep your head out of the way. Because he does pretty much one-shot you, in most cases. Now, something else I wanted to... Man, why did you not record? Oh yes, other games. Some of you have been asking uh, what games I'm going to play next. And seeing how, as Hitman Absolution isn't out till the end of the year, I have plenty of time to play other games. Which is good. Um, so I have a couple games and I'll probably play both of them. Um, once Max Payne is done, I'll definitely be playing both. So to start, um, I picked up Manhunt. A lot of you have been uh, talking about that game, so I downloaded it from Rockstar and well, Ashley, hear me go, hear me complain some more. Why don't you? It uh, it didn't work for like the first month that I had it. I'd hit this in the training mission. I'd hit this uh, fence that you're supposed to run through, but it wouldn't open and it would crash every single solitary time. So I finally found a, uh, a patch on the net, and now it works. So. In the not too distant future, you can expect uh, some Manhunt gameplay. Also, uh, I picked up Metal Gear Solid HD pack, which I'm pretty excited about because you guys have been and telling me that it's a pretty good stealth game. And in the HD pack, there are three games actually. I think it's two, three, and four from that franchise, so I'm pretty excited about playing through that as well, which I don't expect I'll get through all three before Absolution's out, but uh, I don't know, maybe. But uh, I should mention, I don't exactly want to rush uh, a good game out, like, uh, like, for example, the Hitman games, I knew them all inside and out. Um, before I made videos even so it was easy for me to give you guys advice and walk you through it um, but Manhunt I've never actually played before so I'm gonna actually have to dig into it a bit before I feel confident of telling you guys how to do it you know? which I think is uh, understandable I don't want to tell you guys bullshit I want to give you guys some decent content, you know, uh, unlike this, of course, me running around being a dummy, but uh, anybody can actually play these games, uh, that dude scared the shit out of me, um, so I, I want to put out something that's going to be useful to you guys, even if you guys have already played it. Um, I don't want to just run through it like a friggin noob and uh, I want to give you guys something decent to watch. And here, uh, right there, 
where I was aiming, our partner was supposed to be standing there. And I ran through this a couple times, but this time I just gave up. He didn't follow us for whatever reason, so I just ran in here and started killing people. And eventually he, uh, he shows up. Ooh, shot that guy in the balls. Almost. So now he shows up. So that was kind of a weird glitch. And if you stay tuned to the end, you will see a blooper that happens right in this little morgue area. And I really wish that I had recorded some of the other bloopers that I did because they were friggin' hilarious. And no, you know what? I never make bloopers. I don't screw up. As far as you guys know, I am awesome all the time. Except for this one blooper that I'll show you at the end. And I think this, yeah, this is the last scene. Um, where we're kind of in a little bit of a standoff here. <clears throat> but it's very easy to kill these guys. Uh, because they have one entrance into this place. So you just sort of wait for them to walk in and you shoot them. Easy. Oh yeah, pain pills. And absolutely nothing else in this room. Unless you watch the gun guide. Speaking of gun guide, when do you guys want to see that? Because I pretty much make the gun guide when I make the uh, chapter video. Like I like I said, I'm going to be voiceovering. Oh, you can play that piano, by the way. Um, the, I'll be voiceovering the game guide right after this, if this actually fucking records this time. So let me know when you guys want to see those. And as I shoot these guys one by one, I will sign off. And this has been chapter 8 for the second time I voiced it over. And as always, thanks for watching and stay in tune for the stupid little blooper. Thank you. You gonna take that contract out of my head, bro? Hit!